see Mike, the song's playing, man. Mike, they can't hear you. On the other side of the room. This is our funny comedy podcast. You don't make it sad. Stop making everything we do about being sad. I'm not trying to. I'm just. I'm not feeling it. What's today, up with dude? you, man? I'm down. I've been down for a while. I know Everybody you keep knows. you keep making us having to re-record because you're just so upset. It's I keep hitting record and then you get up and you walk it's away. You go like, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it. It's troubling. It's troubling. What's, times what is for me. it? Okay. I've been upset about this girl, man, for a long time. The girl from your work. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I'm just drinking my water. <laughs> Excuse me, audience. <laughs> I need to stay hydrated. Dude, you're know. so like, sad. Like it's the shouldn't... first episode, and you're just like. I feel like I shouldn't even talk because I don't want to like give away this information. You know what I mean? Dude, dude, no one listens to the podcast. I guarantee okay. this girl won't listen well, to the podcast. starting to get. It was starting to get more serious. You know what I mean? Really? And I started to take it a lot more seriously. And but um, seriously. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and um, but stuff. And then some shit happened, you know what I mean? That I can't really explain. Can you try? I can try, yeah, but... I mean, I hope you can explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> this is gonna be a boring... Imagine a podcast where we're just, you're like, I don't know. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I really like her. And I think that I might have done something that I'm not ready for. I don't think I'm ready for this. I oh think, my god. I think I'm I didn't even know it was that serious. I think she might be pregnant. What? I'm just saying. I didn't even I know think you she were. She might be. I think she might be, dude, because I really like. I didn't even know you were dating this girl yet. Well, I'm not date. I'm not dating her necessarily. Oh, okay. So you just, like, hooked up with her? I mean, I mean, yeah, we work together. Like, I see her some. Like, That's not know. what hooked up means. Well, what is hooked up? Like, it means, like, you know. Mushing parts. Oh no, I'm not about that. I'm a nice guy. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. So you didn't. Thing. You didn't sleep with her. Well, I mean, no. But I don't care about that as much. You know what I mean? Um, you. Don't, what do you care about? Well, I just want to be a, like a a nice guy in her life. You know what I mean? So you're and worried. I care about her a lot, and I like her, and I think that I may have. I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I am ready for this. For, f- for, f- for fatherhood. I'm not a hundred percent sure if she's pregnant, but I'm pretty sure. What are the signs? Did you ask? Did she tell you? Um. So the other day she came in to work, um, and she got breakfast from. It. I, I mean, we ate lunch or we ate, um, breakfast together in the break room. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, I mean. Like, because I, I saw her eat the bread because I was, like, you know, on the one side of the room and she was on the other side of the room. And oh, was, so you didn't eat lunch together at all? No, I mean, we did because we were in the same room. That doesn't mean anything. I mean, she, like I, like, she waved okay. at me when she walked in. So. That's nice of her. She yeah. seems like a nice girl. Okay, I don't really need you to be, like, making fun of me here. Cause no, 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 I'm here for you. Dude. I'm, I'm, worried I'm, your, I'm, I'm, a, your, I'm your main I'm boy. I'm worried that I'm a father. And that I have impregnated someone. Isn't everyone sometimes worried they're a father? <laughs> that happens. I am worried that I am a father and that I have impregnated someone. All right, someone. so she comes into work with breakfast. Yeah, What dude. is... Breakfast is a sign of pregnancy? I didn't know that was a symptom. No, dude, because I'm almost immediately after breakfast, she went and she started throwing up. And that's a big sign of pregnancy. It's morning sickness, dude. What did she have for breakfast? She had one of those um, spiced chicken sandwiches from the night before. She got So she had a, an old chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, for breakfast. Yeah, she, she woke up in the morning and ate a spicy chicken sandwich. What happened? Do you do that? I mean, no, but... Okay, you eat a spicy chicken sandwich in the morning. What do you think is going to happen? I'm probably going to get sick. Yeah. So... Yeah, dude, but it's different for her. Because, like... She mean, she she getting... You see growth on the outside? No, 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 no. Because I think it's the early stages. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's, like, pretty early. I just hard. don't know if I'm ready for it. I don't know if, like, when she comes and tells me about that she thinks I might be the father, I, I'm not ready if I can hear that from her. You know what I mean? I'm not ready. Because I care about her, but I don't know if I care about her that much, you know? I like her, so but I don't you care about her enough her. to think you're a father to her child, but not enough to accept that. Dude, you don't understand how much I like her. I honestly think that I might have... Liked her into pregnancy. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds ridiculous. How would you say it? I think that I might have 
liked her so liked much. Liked her into preg. I feel like I might have liked her into pregnancy. Mike, you you took biology classes. I mean, not the not the. Listen, I don't. I'm not going to say that I know a whole lot about women. the way babies are made oh. and women and people. people. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I know about that because I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not even sure. What gender you are? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure I'm a guy because I've never seen any other guy stuff or any girl stuff. Do you want to see mine? We can get to that later. We That's after that the later. podcast. That's after the podcast. Okay. You know how that works. Yeah. Um, Usual after podcast <laughs> shenanigans. People don't know we do the podcast <laughs> completely naked from the waist down. That's what we do, man. So I'm not sure. I'm... So, okay. So what's step one? Okay, she comes to you and she's like, I... "Mikey boy." Oh, she's a comment. Ma- Mama's she... got a bun in the oven. I've 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 dreamed this scenario many times, and if she would ever talk to me, she wouldn't call me Mikey boy. She'd what would she call me... you? She'd call me Michael Miller. She'd use my full name because she knows that I'm important. She uses, did she say, like, Mr.? No, she just says Michael Miller. She okay. Says Michael Miller, I think you might well, Would you use her first child. and last name? No, because I don't think she's that important. Uh, so you... you. I care about her and I like her. You thought a baby into a woman you don't like that much. See? Well, how the fuck did Jesus happen? Books. I think letters kind of wrote that, and then we don't... Dude, I, I'm telling you, I, she has a boyfriend that she's with. But I don't think that he doesn't seem like a guy that would do that. He seems like a cool guy. Like he drives a motorcycle and he takes her to yeah, work every day. Really cool. But he doesn't seem like someone that would like have. It doesn't sex seem like a safe her. thing for he a pregnant woman. He doesn't seem like someone to have sex with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he seems. He like wouldn't a, do that. No, he just rides a motorcycle and smokes cigars and shit. Like he um, doesn't seem like someone. Is he like, fifty eight? No, no, he's like a young cigarette really? cigar smoker. Yeah, he's. he's That's he's a good a really decision. Cool That's like a long term. Yeah. Good decision. Yeah, I, I, um, I, you know how you can get those, um parfaits from Publix. Yeah. Um I got so, one and I was, and I was and I was walking like to my car yeah, yeah. and I dropped it on the way out. Oh no. And her boyfriend like laughed and was like <laughs> and I like laughed too because like he's a cool guy. He laughed at you cuz you dropped your yogurt. Well, it, I don't think he laughed at me. I think it was Mike, like, with me. I he see he, I don't think he would have sex with her. I I think that she's too perfect for that. I think first of all, I think you need to read some books. Or watch, there's like, there's like two minute videos online that explain everything and everything in those videos makes everything you're saying just completely wrong. Okay. Second of all, she has a boyfriend and I don't think she, I mean, I'm just implying this. I don't think she's like feeling the same way you feel about her because she's dating a guy. You don't know that. She might feel forced to. Forced to date the man. Yeah. Did he like think about dating her and then she was just dating her like you thought she was pregnant and then she was pregnant listen she if she's not pregnant then i'm just wrong about everything dude you can't just like a girl so much that she just suddenly has your child that's beautiful though that's how love works like if you love someone no. if you really love someone then you should get them pregnant but like i love people that are like guys and they're not pregnant i love family members should i get them pregnant don't hesitate with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I guess you're right. I guess you're right, but... Okay. I mean, if how about, you guys how about have this? a baby, do you think she'd, like, name his middle name after me, at least? You know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know, if, if, if it ends up being yours, which is no, but if it does, I'm here for you. I will be its godfather, godparent, whatever. I don't know what it's called. I'll, I'll watch it for you sometimes. When I'm not busy, you know, if this girl's pregnant, which once again is she is not, it's not yours. If she comes to you and says it's your baby, you need to come to me <laughs> because that doesn't make any sense. But not about you, just the logic of the situation. But if she is pregnant, I want you to know that I'm your friend. This is Butt Seriously. Hey, he could be the third guy on Butt Seriously. <laughs> the little baby. Yeah. Like it's me, you, and we're like, duh, duh, and you're like, duh, 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 and then the baby's like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Hey kids! Hey! Not Mike, not you. It's for the ad. Hey kids! Do you love shows like Law and Order SVU, CSI Miami, and Criminal Minds? Wish you could have a crime scene of your very own? Well, now you can, with My First Murder Scene. My First Murder Scene is a completely interactive take home crime scene for children four and up. 
The set includes gloves, caution tape, fake blood, real blood, various murder weapons, and probable cause. Bonus pack includes a flask and years of guilt over that one unsolved case. Find it in your local toy store. And coming soon, my first rape kit. Test your friends and the fun never ends. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back. And we back, and we back For my real fans. <laughs> There's no real fans of this no. podcast. What's up, Mike? Ah, uh, not much. That was fun what we did. Yeah, that, that's this That was good. Fun. What we did right there was a okay. <laughs> it was fun. Dude, we got ads now. We're fucking I'm glad we're back. We're legit. It's a nice thing to just have to, as a thing. It's nice to, to come back and be like be like, you know, respected. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Cuz now we're like, you know, talented. We've had a couple of years, you know what I mean, where we just sort of found one our, year. We sort of found, <laughs> we sort of found our voices, you no. know. What I, mean? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you just graduated, Mike. <laughs> Calm down. And I'm only a freshman in college. Yeah. Well, not anymore. I'm a sophomore now. I'm oh, a big yeah. man. I'm yeah. kind of a big deal. Oh, Ron College. Yeah, I know. Ooh, sorry. I opened a Snapchat. What's up? What's dude, up? Why dude? are you on your phone? Come on, All man. All right, sorry. Let's I got that. Who do you have? That who's it from? Uh, it's from. I'm not name dropping like you, dude. It's from a friend <laughs> who's on a road trip, and he wanted to send me a picture. I was just curious because he said he was going on a small plane today, and I was nervous. Oh. Small planes crash, and no one cares. <laughs> so what's yeah. up? What's uh? What's new? How how? Okay, so last. Time about seriously, it was over winter break, and we said, "Oh, we're gonna do a big season," and then we didn't do anything. <laughs> so, um, we did two episodes. So I want you, and then I'll do it, but you can do it first, because we've already filled everyone up to what was going on around Christmas. Give me a little bit, like a quick thing of like second semester and summer till now. Do you want me to do it first? You you're said? gonna go first. You're gonna do school, and then you're gonna That's do good, personal. That's good. It was life. your idea, so you're gonna make me do it first. Yeah, to so see I, if it doesn't so work. So I don't have enough time to think of it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there you go. That's great. That's perfect. Just right, talk. It's your winter, own life. You lived since it. Since winter break. Um, I mean, I grant you got to shut your stupid dog up, dude. I love my dog. Since winter break. Um, I mean, I, I did my last semester of high school, which I was... <laughs> Which, you know, was a big deal for me. You know what I mean? Because no, it, wasn't. it wasn't a big deal for me. I don't know, dude. Don't you know, lie about you the know, I've just been a miserable fuck. That's all I've been. i just been You bummed. want to talk about the project you're working on? i just been bum. Bum. I don't know if I should mention it here. Because I don't know if the... If well, people... give a little taste. You're just like... You're working on something. I'm working on and something. And it is in the field isn't of... comedy. Isn't I'm comedy. working on something that isn't comedy. And it'll be out probably by... Never. <laughs> Dude, we've gotten a couple things done with it. And it'll be done by the time school starts for me and for everybody else. You think? So, yeah, it'll be done by by the end of August for sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I have all the ideas for it. And Slash has been helping me with it. You've been helping me with it. Everything but what it is. <laughs> everything but everything. Um, That's good. That's good. Are you excited to go to school? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it worked out. We got we got everything we needed for it. So yeah. We got all the... You were nervous for a while. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to go. Yeah. Where were you going to go if you couldn't go? I don't know. I don't know, because I canceled all my other applications. It's a bum. <laughs> what it, dude, I... I could have been at, U- at NYU, and like, you're just like... Ah, okay. Dude, I said... First of all, it's too expensive. It's kind of a shitty thing for me to say, but I had said this, and it's not true, but one of the things that I said was that I would have not gone to college. If I didn't get anywhere besides USF, I wouldn't have got I would have not gone to college cuz I wouldn't have been able to major in anything I would have wanted to major in. Yeah, I get that. You don't get it cuz it's a stupid thing to say. I, mean, I, w- I my plan was to fucking move to like LA, just move. That's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> That's a dumb thing. That's something the girl who wears his hats would do. She, it's like I'm just moving to LA. She's got like 2000 followers on Instagram. She's like, I'm just going to move to LA. I mean, I'm ready. I mean, there's a lot I'm of people ready. there that like know me. Instagram. From Instagram. Yeah, they, they like my they, pictures. They're they all men. They're all 38. <laughs> it's a secret exactly. account. <laughs> Fucking weird. If you move to LA, like, you have something wrong with you. Yeah. If you, like, shoot, like, for no reason, if you just move. Yeah. If you move because you're trying to do something there. Yeah. If you're like, I want to be in LA because everybody's in LA. I knew a, I knew a, I, I met a girl when I was in New York, uh, and she was telling me that, like, if you don't want to do, like, art or theater or, like, something artistic in New York City, don't come here because you're an idiot. Like, there's no reason to be, like, you don't go to New York and then, like, I'm going to be a waitress in New York City. Like, no one goes there to, like, right. just be there. Like, you're there because you have a talent and you're working to har- uh, 
hone your craft. Mm -hmm. You're not there just to hang out, like be part of the experience. The experience is being sad and working towards something. I don't know, dude. I, I mean, went. Yeah, you went to New York. I went you. to I went to UCB. I took uh, improv one on one classes, which was really fun. It was a good cl- it was a good time. Um, I can't believe it, dude, you went to fucking Berkeley. That's crazy. Yeah, he went to the University of California Berkeley. Yeah, no, no, it was New York City. But well, UCB, UCB hmm. is U- Upright Citizens Brigade, not University of California Berkeley. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. You thought I went to Berkeley the whole time? <laughs> no. Where I'm are you just, going? I'm just messing with I'm you. I'm going to UCB. Go to University of California. You're going to Berkeley? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, for a week. <laughs> what? That's crazy, man. <laughs> Tim Allen grunt. You a degree? Yeah, a man. Week? I did a show at the end of the week, yeah. which was fun. You said that... What did you say that you, you found out you were good at? I don't know. You said you found out you were good at one particular element, like... When they were doing, because the whole thing about improv is that you got to build off other people. Yeah, I'm. I, I think I'm pretty good at walking into being a walk on. Like yeah. I realized that that's something I can do, and I don't really need to work on that much because something with improv, I don't want to get too like talking about things, but like there's a thing where you don't want to be the person who just keeps walking into scenes because you think you can make them better. And there's uh-huh. people who do that a lot. Like they'll just keep walking into a scene. And it's just like, what do you like? The, you're you're the you're one character. You can't come in as different characters. That's confusing. But I think if you can. If you can make that one thing, because it's not your scene. There's two people doing a scene, and then one person can walk in, and you have to add something to the scene. You don't have to walk in. And then do you walk out after? You that? walk out, and you know you walk in, you add something, and you leave. So if it's like if like I seen two people at a restaurant, you could be a waiter. Is you are not I... part of the scene. You are just adding to this. The scene is the two people at the restaurant. You are not a character in that scene. You are just a character who adds to the plot of those two people. Is that how all of them are? Uh, it depends on what you do. Like they do. Like UCB they do. does it their own way. So that's kind of how it is, but that usually there's like walk-ons, like it's a thing that you can. But it's mostly just two people. Um, the way I, I did it, it's one on one. So what you're gonna okay. do is just the basics. Um, you can do a lot more. Like you could do like four people and then still have walk-ons. But the thing is, you don't want to be, especially early on, you don't want to be taking away from anything. Yeah. It was a really good class. So if anyone wants to learn more about improv. Read the book. UCB has a guide. Dude, I doubt anybody's going to be casually into a comedy and be like, I'm going to go to New York City and take a UCB class. Yeah. But, you know, you never know who finds a comedy podcast. We have a Twitter now. We do. Uh, at But Seriously Pod. And you just fucking tweet terrible pictures of me. That's all you do. There's two but, tweets. There's <laughs> and no... they're both terrible pictures. Who's ready for Mike Seriously? Mike sure isn't. He's an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. I've been busy, man. I've been doing the senioritis. No, you haven't. <laughs> You haven't done senioritis in three weeks. Yeah, but, like, I've been, like, recovering. Senioritis was emotional for me, dude. After yeah. After episode, I go home and cry. Yeah, that one episode, uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard a couple stories about episodes <laughs> where you had to go home and just be like, oh, man, that was, I that upload. was deep. No, you know, it was more like, fucking shit. Like, you, <laughs> like you have to upload it. Because <laughs> you, because the person would know if you don't upload it. Yeah. There's a couple like that. There was, there was... Did you have everybody fun? that was on it was great, and I thank them for being. You can say that. I, as a listener, seventy five percent of you, I didn't don't give a shit about you. Never met you before, <laughs> but you know, like AJ's was funny. Um, you only listened to the first couple, though. Yeah, listen. No, I listened to ones that I thought were good, like, um, like, uh, like the first one was pretty good because it was just you and Lasha. Um, speaking of senior eyes, you're not done with senior eyes yet. No. You're like, okay, uh, I gotta finish it. He's got like, th- he's got like three more episodes and he's just like, mm. Yeah, we gotta do the one episode for me and Lasha. That's what we have to do. And it's, and it's ridiculous now because we've been graduating for almost a month now and it's like, neither of us want to do it, but we have to do it because we just fucking have to, we have to yeah. finish it. Like, we shouldn't leave things unfinished. Yeah. So, and I want to start focusing more on my other things, so. Your two other things, which is this podcast and your secret project. Yeah, my super secret project that yeah. most people know about. So, but the internet can't know. No, dude, not people dude, listen to this podcast. Dude, dude, all three of you can't know. Dude, the people listen to this podcast, not my friends. Man. No, my friends They're don't f- listen to my podcast. <laughs> my friends, no don't one care. would listen to my. Podcast. My friends don't. Care. I mean, hey guys, I did a podcast, dude. No, I talk to you in person. I don't like what you have to say. <laughs> exactly, dude. Podcast. What the fuck? No, you're. I like senior writers. I like the concept of it, and I think. It cool. I think. It's a time I think you capsule. really took my idea. And <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I did not take. Your I'm idea. kidding. I'm kidding. Um. I was like, never mind. <laughs> like, just, what? Just like I was, trying to, I was trying to be like, oh, like I came up with it, and you stole it, but you totally came up with it. Okay. Um, that would be funny though. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I thought it was good. Um, some people... Um, the problem that it runs into is it only is good for people who know the people you're talking to. Yeah. Like, there's not a 35-year-old man like, hmm, I wonder what an 18-year-old's opinion on the world is. <laughs> like, I'm, I've been through college and I, I think seniors in high school are stupid. I'm still an idiot. Like, I know nothing, but I think those people know even less than I you're do. You're 19 and you think that 18-year-olds maybe know half of what you know. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm older, but like, it doesn't appeal to anyone that is not the people that were involved. Well, like last podcast, you came back a wise and old man. You yeah. I mean? Well, I am. I'm better than everyone. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I'm smarter than everyone. <laughs> we have an ego problem. You have an ego problem. I don't we, have an ego problem. We. <laughs> I'm not like you. I'm not like. I'm I. not like you. I <laughs> I'm different than you. I don't have an ego problem. I'm above an ego problem. Yeah. I'm a little bit. I. I. My ego is validated. I'm supposed <laughs> to feel this way. Dude, I just saw something pop up on your... T- <laughs> what are you chewing? <laughs> a, but and then you shoot it off. Chewing a popcorn kernel. Oh, that's gross. Dude, I... Hey, follow us I on But Seriously Pot At But Seriously Pod. Don't follow our private accounts, because that's too complicated. Follow at But Seriously Pod, and tweet Mike... At Mike... Tweet at But Seriously Pod, and just say, popcorn's gross. Mike is gross. Mike is... No, Mike's not gross. His habits are gross. Mike's a little bit gross. Mike's, aren't we all a little bit gross? Yeah. Sometimes I smell my own farts. <laughs> we all do that. That's not really like an interesting fact about me. Boy, oh boy, dude. Are dude. you happy? To, you're happy to be back. Um, what have you been working on aside from like just going to, because like you've obviously been doing so you keep yourself pretty busy. Oh, I have um, some short films. I was in a film festival called Campus Movie Fest and I had a film called Generation Gap, um, which is something that I was working on for a while and I shortened it for that and I'm still working on it. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff on my YouTube Fucking channel. Fucking fun guy, dude. You talk about that. I know. I'm getting into it. <laughs> I'm talking about movies. And then I did a couple things with some of my friend Jack, my friend Leo. We did a bunch of short little films. And then we did Fun Guy, which is a movie I wrote and directed, uh, which is on my YouTube channel. It's The Fun Guy. Uh, it's good. I liked it. Did you like it? I liked it. <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> like, I honestly did. I was, like, proud of how it turned out. Because I was worried because it was, like, my first, like... Like, I have... I have like the first serious film. My first one, not it was a, it's like a comedy kind of, but it's the first one that I'm like, this is a movie that I'm gonna use for like yeah. movie festivals. You actually like, yeah, you. I'm gonna you like work, submit that. To you them. worked hard on. Yeah, it. like you, the you, other you, movies were like, let's make a movie, and then everything was improv. Like everything in that movie is like. But you actually planned. like tried your best on that movie. Yeah, and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm not oh, gonna yeah. make you. <laughs> Tell me it was good, Mike. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I have. Some other stuff like Mike is working on now. Not secret stuff, you know. Like I, I'm writing a lot of live stage stuff. I've I'm really gotten into that lately. After I got from back from New York, I've been kind of into theater. You said Hamilton too was a big was a big. Uh... Yeah, Hamilton. I listen to Hamilton. I, I've been listening to a lot of different musicals, just modern things and musical. I'm I'm writing a musical right now. Um, is that also secret? No, it's not really a secret. I post some songs on my SoundCloud for it. But, um, Change the SoundCloud now. Oh my god, <laughs> there's two thongs on there. But um, yeah, I think I'm just trying to diversify myself, which is something that we're both trying to do, is make ourselves look better, and the podcast only helps. As artists, you know what I mean? Dude, we want yeah. to diversify ourselves Dude, as artists. Dude, I want to be... The I don't ne- want to just be in one medium, you know Dude, I, mean? I feel like I have so I'm much more so to offer. I'm so prolific. <laughs> Dude, my seed like, is spread everywhere. You can see it everywhere. Like, I haven't done much, but, like... I'm 19. I'm capable of doing so Dude, much. I'm 19, and, like, I'm smarter than most adults. I have all I could change the world. <laughs> Has anybody said that to you seriously? Um, not real. One dude, I was sitting... At, it was in high school, so one dude who was, like, older than me was, like... Uh, well, he was a 19-year-old still in high school. <laughs> what? Was he a 19-year-old still in high school? No, no, he was just a guy who graduated, but he was back watching something. And okay. he was looking at me, and he was like, he was like, I don't know, dude. I just feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm worth more than than other people. <laughs> and he looked at me, and I was just like, yeah. Because I was like a sophomore, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, now I look back, and the guy was like, I just think I'm like, like, not that I'm better than other people, but I'm just like, like, my life is just like, more important. More important. And then like, I didn't, I was like, yeah. And then, like, I kept thinking about it. I was like, why would you tell me that? Like, I'm all another person. You're just telling me my life doesn't matter to you. That's funny, though. Do um, you have anything else you want to say? Because we can wrap up this first episode. Already? Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know if they've gotten to know the real us. You know? I don't want to know the real <laughs> us. I don't think they want to know the real us. <laughs> right, Anything can. last minute you want to say? I'd say just follow us at But Seriously Pod on Twitter, and we'll post episodes. I think we the back, episode. And we back. Yeah, we back, we're big we rap back. fans. We're, we're we're overweight white boys who love hip hop. <laughs> we back. We back. Uh, all right. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Uh, expect more episodes in the future. Uh, or don't, not or as don't. much as season two. <laughs> season two. That was, that was too a lot, ma- dude. too many episodes. That was a season commitment. two. I had to work extra hard. Yeah. I had to work that one day that we recorded, dude. Mike quit his job to do season two. <laughs> I disowned my family. I killed my dog to do season two just because it was too much of a burden. Hit it over the head with a shovel. Yeah, dude. And then buried it with your hands. Yeah. Well, yeah. I tried to hit her over the head with my hand and buried her with the shovel, but it's great. All right. Peace. <laughs>